When the Saturn V rocket was on the launch pad, it had a ton of red metal arms that stuck out and attached to it. And I'm going to show you one up close and how it worked. Hi, it's John Williams. I would just like to tell you about the red metal structure behind me. So this, believe it or not, is an arm that stuck off the umbilical tower to the Saturn V rocket. It was a fueling arm. Basically, if you look over here at this model, it was one of these arms that would have loaded liquid oxygen and liquid kerosene into the first, second, and third stage of the rocket. This arm in particular is swing arm number eight. There were nine swing arms. The top nine one was to load the astronauts into their capsule. This one in particular would have been used to fuel the third stage of the Saturn V rocket. Now, this would be cool if it was on the real umbilical tower, but it was likely used here in the Marshall Space Flight Center as testing, like stressing, so it didn't break. The real ones are in other museums. So if you come this way, you can see that you have these 1960s lights where the engineers would have walked to, mate, to do maintenance on the arm. And you can see these big pipes which would have loaded the liquid kerosene and liquid oxygen. And up here at the front, if you come around here, you can see a mock-up of the Saturn V third stage. As you can see, those two pipes would have loaded the two different fuels up into the fuel tanks. Now this swing arm in particular is swing arm number eight. There were nine swing arms. The one above it, swing arm number nine, was the one that the astronauts entered to get into their space capsule. As you can see right here, we have the old, we have the old 1960s design um, lamps have these fuel lines as we come back here. Now, as we approach the rocket design, there would be a big crane structure that could rotate back and forth that had all the cables and stuff. Right around here, we had the connections and we had lights. And over here, we had a big structure that had all the pipes that could rotate on an axis and it would connect right up there to the Saturn V rocket. Now, when it was time to launch, the arm would start to move and then the cables would pull the structure back with like a little bit more um, fuel cords than is right there. And it would pull it back, it'd come out, and then this thing would swing to the side and then a few months later, another Saturn's on the pad, same process, and then they would just get scrapped. This one in particular was probably used for testing, dynamic testing, as in shaking or just stress testing. So it was here used in the Marshall Space Flight Center, and it's an identical replica of the real one. Cool stuff. Please subscribe, share our videos, and excitement about space with everyone.